Well, the big moment has finally arrived. You bought it, prepped it, and cooked it, and now it is time to carve it. This is something that even the best chefs in the world can actually have problems with. It really comes down to technique and doing it. I wanna show you a few very simple tips today on how to carve the perfect turkey. We all have an image of carving the turkey at the table with all the guests sitting around. It's actually wrong. It's not the right way to do it. Do it in the kitchen on a solid cutting surface so with your hopefully very sharp knife, you don't cut yourself. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take the bird apart. First step is to remove the thigh and the leg together. You're gonna to cut right down this joint. And what that'll allow you to do is to kind of pull the leg away, all right? As you do that, it's going to expose the joint on the turkey, on the, on the leg bone. You just find that little joint with the tip of your knife and the whole thing's gonna kind of release, right? Once you find that leg joint, it's actually really easy. The best thing I like to do is apply some pressure to remove it from the turkey. And look at me. Okay, there's our leg and our thigh together, right? It actually took me a little longer than it usually would. Again, take your time, find that joint right here on the end, and that's where you'll release it. From this point, what we do is to cut it, separate it right in half at that next joint, and now you have your leg and your thigh like so. From this part, we take this apart and put it onto the cutting board. Really quite simple. Always wanna cut across the grain, right? So you take your dark meat, we're gonna put that right in the corner here. Same thing on this side, down the other side of the thigh, across. Now you can cut this as large or as small as you want, depending upon the size of your group. It's actually cooked perfectly. On the drumstick, we stand it up straight, cut right down, that nice piece of meat comes off, cut across that, put that all here, same thing. All right, now we move on to the wing. There's more meat on there. I'm just gonna, for now, for the sake of time, show you how to do this, but you can take all the rest of that meat off after. Same thing with the wing. Pull it down, you're gonna find that joint, right? Cut straight in from an angle. That joint will release. Find it with the tip of your knife like so, and it comes right off, right? Once you take your wing off, same thing, you wanna put it on your cutting board. With the wing, I usually just kind of cut it in half like this. Same thing, use pressure. It'll open up the joint, cut straight down like so. Cut off the wing tip. And I usually just put the wings on the cutting board. I don't, you know, kind of part them out. Um, my grandpa Vinny used to always love the wing, so we would give him that part. Now, here is the biggest part, the, the white meat, the breast. Really important, you wanna take the tip of your knife and you're gonna find there's a breastbone right in the middle here, all right? You're going to take your knife and run it right down that breastbone, all right? Now, when you do that, you're going to pull the meat towards you and that's going to allow you to take this right off. This is really important. The reason you're cutting it like this is because if you cut it on the bird this way, you're cutting with the grain. It means it's not going to be as tender. And this whole thing will come right off just like this, easier than our, our thigh did. All right, now, you've taken it off. Now you just cut right across. Nice slices, you can make them as thick or as thin as you want, depending upon what you like. And then this goes right onto the cutting board. We lost a piece, we'll put it back there. That's half the bird. Now we can flip it around and do the other side as well. And there's one last piece I wanna show you um, on the bottom side. Same thing on this side. Hold the turkey up, cut right down this joint here, and the thigh will peel right off, okay? This I always find to be, can be the trickiest part. And it really comes down to when you um, pull the thigh away, finding that little joint, see it's right here, and this will be a lot easier, um, comes right off. But look, right, like I've done, I've probably done this 50 times. It takes practice, and it also takes some, some, you know, some skill, but it really isn't that hard. It really just comes down to following the steps. So work with the joint, cut it in half. We have our leg and our thigh, and I'll show you how to take off one more side of, of the breast as well. Follow that breastbone straight down. Take your time. Peel the meat away with your fingers and that's gonna release it like so. And that's gonna come right off. So the last thing, we'll, we'll show you how to cut one more on the brass side. I'll actually cut it on this board. So you'll see a lot of juice on the board, 
That's a good thing. It's a juicy turkey. It's not blood. This turkey was out on the grass in the sunshine, so it has more juice in it than, let's say, one that lived in a barn. Same thing. Cut right across the grain. Nice, even slices. And this will go, pick it up with your knife, and this will go right in your cutting board. Now, it's really important to remember there's one little last gem here. On the back side of the turkey, there's something called the oyster, all right? It's really kind of the best part of the bird, and it lives right here. It's this little medallion of meat. So what I usually do is, it's not a big piece of meat. I usually kind of save it for myself. I call it my carving tax when I'm in the kitchen carving it. There's one on each side. Um, it is like the tenderloin of the turkey. So definitely make sure you take those out, either share them or have them for yourself. But that's how you're gonna carve your turkey. Follow it step by step. It takes um, you know a little bit of time, but you'll be able to knock it out of the park, I'm sure, and have a great Thanksgiving.